Hey everybody, I'm Trent Roman and this is our View Golf Review of the 2019 Top 5 Premium Golf Balls. I'm going to give you my personal top 5 performing golf balls over the last few weeks. I've tested the majority of the top premium golf balls from all the brands hitting putts, sand wedges, 7 irons, and drivers, our green to tee approach as we call it, to golf ball testing and fitting. I'm gonna give you, again, my top five, starting from number five all the way up to number one of the balls of 2019 and how they performed for me. Let's do this. My number five golf ball in 2019 is the new 2019 Titleist Pro V1X. Off the driver, I averaged 311.1 yards with 2,744 revolutions per minute of spin. Off the seven iron, I hit it 178 yards with 6,430 revolutions of spin. Some of the contact issues I might have had would explain a little bit of those uh, lower spin numbers with the Pro V1X, but overall, Titleist has done a great job of marketing their new Pro V1 and Pro V1X golf balls. Obviously, Titleist is the number one golf ball in the market for a reason. Pro V1, Pro V1X are very, very similar now. Spin rates, launch angles, um, ball speeds off the driver can't go wrong with either golf ball our pro v1 is going to come a little later in this video but for me the titleist pro v1x comes in at number five Coming in at number four, we have our Callaway Chrome Soft Golf Ball. Very, very good performing golf ball. Callaway has done a great job in the market in the last few years in the golf ball department. So I was very excited to hit this golf ball for sure. Off the driver, I averaged 311.3 yards with 2,788 revolutions per minute of spin. Off the seven iron, I hit it 172 yards with 7,493 revolutions per minute of spin. Sand wedge, 96.9 yards, 12,982 revolutions per minute of spin. You saw, and I saw, some higher spin rates with this golf ball. It felt soft to me, almost a little marshmallowy, a little too soft for me personally off the club face, so I thought, okay, maybe I was gonna see some lower ball speeds and lower distances. I did not see that. This ball still went a long way. So if you're looking for a really soft performing golf ball around the greens, nice off the putter face, nice with the wedges, higher spinning. Maybe if you, if you are a player with a, a little bit lower swing speed, don't create a lot of spin, this would be the golf ball that you should definitely test. For me, again, it came in at number four in 2019. Number three, the Vice Pro Golf Ball. 
we see a lot of these bowls advertised in magazines. You don't find them so often in your retail stores. You can get them online. They are, they are a premium golf ball, but definitely a lower price point golf ball. Coming in at $39.99 per dozen, it is the, the least expensive golf ball of our premium line. Of our top five golf balls, of my top five golf balls in 2019, it is also the least expensive one by considerable amounts. Your, type, your Pro V1, Pro V1Xs are gonna run you about $55 per dozen, depending on your vendor. Um, your Callaway Chrome Soft are gonna run you about $44.99 per dozen. So coming in at $39.99, it, it is the best value, the best dollar per yard, if you will, of your premium golf balls. Let's get into those yardages. 312.7 off the driver in distance on average. It came in at 2,716 revolutions per minute of spin. So you're at an average spin rate for me, anywhere in the 2,700s is pretty average. You'll see um, off the driver because I tend to have a tendency to cut a little bit across the golf ball, one or, one or two degree path left. I like to fade the ball with a slightly open face. So you're gonna see, I'm gonna see higher spin rates. If you're that player that sees the ball balloon, if you cut across it, if you play a, flay, a fade, like the majority of golfers do, they play a, play a fade, they cut the ball a lot, you're gonna wanna look for a ball that is lower spinning. So anyway, Get that aside, kind of get to know your golf swing. I know mine a little bit. I like to play a, a lower spinning ball. So in your set, in my seven iron, I hit this 171.8 yards, 7,646 revolutions per minute of spin. With the sand wedge, I hit it 94.1 yards with just a hair over 13,000 spin. So it is a high performance golf ball, very average spin rates in your, in your Chrome Soft, in your Pro V1X, okay, that's I saw the same spin with this golf ball. So it comes in at number three in 2019. My number two ball in 2019 is the new Pro V1 golf ball from Titleist. I love this golf ball. Titleist has done a great job in improving the Pro V1 line. I have always been a Pro V1X player. They've changed up the dimple pattern, changed up the construction of the golf ball to make it similar to the Pro V1X, a more penetrating ball flight, neutral spinning. It's always been known as, this ball has always been known as the high spin golf ball. Yeah, it, it's not. It's not anymore. It's it's a better performing golf ball for me than the Pro V1X, and that's why it comes in at number two. Off the driver, I averaged 13, uh, 313 yards, 2,746 spins, so pretty much the same 2,700 spin that I'm getting with all these premium golf balls. 177 yards off the 7-iron, 6,846 revolutions per minute of spin off that 7-iron. With the wedge, 94.3 yards on average and 12,517 revolutions per minute. So it is number two for me in 2019, the Titleist Pro V1 golf ball. Our View Golf number one golf ball in 2019 is the TaylorMade TP5. We did a head to head comparison of the TP5 and TP5X, very, very similar golf balls. You are going to find this ball to be a lower spinning golf ball across the board versus some of your other premium golf balls, your two, three, four, and five 
Pro V1, Pro V1X, Vice Golf Balls, your Chrome, Chrome Soft X, okay? This golf ball off the driver for me averaged 316.7 yards with 2,581 spin. I saw the same or similar numbers with the TP5X, so just be aware of that. These are lower spinning golf balls. Again, I talked about it in the vice section. If you are a player that likes to hit down on the golf ball, cut across it a little bit, you play a fade, you have a steeper angle of attack. If you take divots, if you're on the range and you take big divots or your divots are pointing left, golf ball might tend to float up and spin a little bit off to the right in the air, you're going to want a golf ball that is lower spinning. And that is what this golf ball did for me. Off the seven iron average, 173.8 yards, 7,154 revolutions per minute, 97.1 yards on the wedge, and 12,624. So still a soft feeling golf ball, good performance around the greens, plenty of spin on your wedge shots, but, uh, and, your, and your short to medium length irons, not gonna fall out of the sky, not, not, uh, not too low a spinning for me, uh, but right in that perfect amount and really good off the driver. So our View Golf number one ball in 2019 is the TaylorMade TP5. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked our video, make sure you click like below. If you're not a subscriber and you want more content, we put out content on about a weekly basis, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, want to know what maybe what golf ball might work for you based on your swing technique, give us a little information on your swing technique. If you have that swing speed, that might help a lot. Any questions on these golf balls, make sure you hit that uh, comment button below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time. My number one ball in 2019 is the new TaylorMade TP5. I've tested this golf ball. We did a head-to-head -head con. Uh, God, I can't even.